the chemiosmotic hypothesis was first proposed by Peter D. Mitchell in 1961. Let us discuss about chemiosmosis in primitive aerobic bacterium. The plasma membrane of primitive aerobic bacterium has the enzymes that oxidize NADH to NAD+. These enzymes also transfers electrons to electron acceptor O2. After accepting electrons, the O2 reacts with other reactant to produce H2O. The movement of electrons through plasma membrane carriers like O2 NADH is coupled to pumping of H plus ions or protons from the cytosol to the exterior of bacterial cell. As a result, the H plus ion concentration increases in the exterior of bacterium whereas the H plus ion concentration decreases in the bacterial cytosol. As a result, a positive electric potential is formed on the exoplasmic phase of plasma membrane whereas a negative electric potential is formed on the cytosolic phase of plasma membrane. Also due to this H plus ion concentration difference across the plasma membrane, the H plus ion moves into the cytosol from the exterior of the bacterium through the F0 portion of F0 F1 complex or ATP synthase. This H plus ion movement is coupled to ATP synthesis in the F0 F1 complex. During ATP synthesis in the F1 portion of F0 F1 complex, the ADP and PI are converted into ATP in a biochemical reaction. Now, let us discuss about chemiosmosis in mitochondrion. In this case, the inner membrane has enzymes that oxidize NADH to NAD+. These enzymes also transfers electrons to the electron acceptor O2. After accepting the electrons, the O2 reacts with other reactant to form H2O. The movement of electrons through the membrane carriers like O2 NADH is coupled to pumping of H plus ions from the matrix to the intermembrane space of mitochondrion. Due to this H plus ion pumping, the H plus ion concentration increases in the intermembrane space and the H plus ion concentration decreases in the matrix of mitochondrion. As a result, a positive electric potential is formed on the intermembrane space phase, whereas a negative electric potential is formed on the matrix phase of inner membrane of mitochondrion. Also due to this H plus ion concentration difference, Across the inner membrane, the H plus ion moves into the matrix from the intermembrane space of mitochondrion through F0 portion of F0 F1 complex. This H plus ion movement is coupled to ATP synthesis in the F0 F1 complex. During ATP synthesis in the F1 portion of F0 F1 complex, in a biochemical reaction, the ADP and PI are converted into ATP. Now, let us discuss about chemiosmosis in chloroplast. In this case, the absorbed light energy is used to oxidize H2O to O2 or molecular oxygen. The NADP plus is converted into NADPH. These reactions are coupled to pumping of H plus ions from stroma to thylakoid lumen. Due to this H plus ion pumping, the H plus ion concentration increases in the thylakoid lumen, whereas 
the H plus ion concentration decreases in the stroma of chloroplast. As a result, a positive electric potential is formed on the luminal face of thylakoid membrane, whereas a negative electric potential is formed on the stromal face of thylakoid membrane. Also due to this H plus ion concentration difference across the thylakoid membrane, the H plus ion moves into the stroma from the thylakoid lumen of chloroplast through the F0 portion of F0 F1 complex. This H plus ion movement is coupled to ATP synthesis in the F0 F1 complex. During ATP synthesis, in the F1 portion of F0 F1 complex, in a biochemical reaction, the ADP and PI are converted into ATP. Please like, subscribe, and share.